how are people influenced and whether we realize it or not like if you were actually ask this is you know when you get back into the question of like attribution of like you know why did somebody decide to reach out to your specific law office and like you know if you ask them usually they, they either give you the wrong answer or they couldn't even tell you because they were influenced by so many things along the way like in so many mediums and so many platforms and they saw a youtube video and they saw a TikTok and they got an email and they did all these different things that many people don't even know why they do what they do but I, I want to speak to that in the sense of the importance of like creating content and, and gaining distribution and consumption to to become an authority. Uh, the world has been using influencers forever. I, I read about the gladiators in the Roman days that were actually influencers, right? They were the local influencers for you know for companies. We we base all our buying decisions on influence, and the influence for a, you know we can stick with legal. People, if people out there have not read uh, Cialdini's work about uh-huh. the science of persuasion and the science of influence, yep. they need to read it because this is important stuff. But you are being influenced by the Google reviews. You're being influenced by the Yelp reviews, even though you have no idea if every single person who left that review is totally insane. You're being influenced by by this, whether it's micro creators, whether it is it called micros, nanos mediums or the mass creators like mr beast um kim kardashian the people with millions of followers they can pretty much push anything and they're getting paid a million dollars a post yeah they're getting paid that much money we are a we're a society of following influencers we've just given them a new way of of coming to us this is an amazing, amazing time for people who can create content and are good at it to be able to get, to gain a following and be able to influence. They can even get paid for their work these days where they weren't getting paid in a different way. And in fact, the creator economy or the passion economy, one of the things that's skipped over, because we think of just YouTube creators, one of the things that's skipped over is, is we're buying, our buying influence and Gen Gen Z especially is will not buy something unless they know that somebody that they follow and that they respect has endorsed that product. So somebody can even have ten thousand in um, ten thousand followers, but if it's in a very specific niche, fishing lures, mm-hmm. you know, we'll just take that niche. They can actually make a living doing that. Um, through affiliate marketing, through whatever it is. But we are a society of being influenced. It is part, it is highly ingrained in our culture. You can go back to old newspapers from the 1800s and you can see the wrestlers of their day who were some of the biggest celebrities out there pushing soap. Yeah. This is just an advancement and this is, there's nothing new. There's never anything new, right? It may be new technology in serving us, but it isn't really new. You know, it, it was interesting seeing even, even fairly recently, like leading up to the Super Bowl, I think the cost of like a 30 second Super Bowl ad was around, you know, $7 million, something like yes. that. And I think Mr. Beast commented on a tweet that was sharing that. And he said, that's crazy. If, if anyone wants to reach a hundred million people for less than 7 million, just let me know. Right. Because I think almost every single video that he's putting out, you know, is, is reaching it's that many people. Absolutely. Uh, You know, for those of you, you know, it's very interesting because when I was growing up, there was like four channels on TV and then it started expanding and there's HBO and Showtime and all these other things. But there was a very centered water cooler culture of TV shows. Everybody watched the same stuff. We know of thousands of opportunities and thousands of outlets, distribution outlets to consume our media. So it's no surprise that we have far more influencers than we've ever had before. Mr. Beast is the first billion dollar influencer. Somebody offered mm-hmm. him, I think, a billion dollars for his company. Yeah. And he turned it down. And and it was a smart move because it's worth a lot more than that. Because when he puts something out, he's getting 25 million views. The other talk in the in in the advertising community has been about Rihanna performing the halftime show for free. Um, they also, based on 
the amount of money that the commercials cost, $7 million a minute, Rihanna got $182 million worth of airtime. Her brand spiked by something like 18,000% online. She probably sold more that day than she's ever sold before. Mm -hmm. So she got $182 million to, uh, to perform a free halftime show.